very happy to have back on the channel John Wayne Hibber. How's it going, mate? All good, mate. All good. All good in the hood. <laughs> Excellent, mate. Well, I, I was just saying to you, to you then, off record, it's turned around a hell, hell of a lot last time we spoke. Last time we spoke, mate, you just come off a, a loss to Dave Ryan. Um, you were a little bit, you were a little bit gutted, obviously. Heartbroken is the word yeah. we can use. Heartbroken. Yeah, yeah maybe I'm underestimating <laughs> it a bit. But, um, yeah, and you were sort of, you know, you mentioned the fight with Ricky Boylan. And, and after the interview, I thought, well, to be fair, Ricky Boylan should be chasing you, if anything. And then, and then now we've had this Dave Ryan fight come back. Like, first of all, how, how, how did this get worked out? Dave, you know, he... He, he got a stoppage. A lot of people would say, and even you, yourself, you thought you might have to build yourself back to a fight or two. How did this all work out, mate? Um, well, um, if you know, I, I, to be honest, I would have struggled. Um, you know, it was, it was a hard fight for me last time, and I would have struggled to get up for any other fight. Um, I know what I've done wrong. Um, building up and, and for the fight of Dave Ryan, which we're, we're in the process of rectifying now. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you know, so for me, it was it, that was the only fight I want, I wanted, and the only fight that made sense. Um, it's a big gamble. It's a massive gamble, you know, yeah. not just for me, um, but for Dave Ryan as well, um, because obviously, you know, throughout the fight, I was winning the fight, and um, you know he, he done he done ever so well to to stick in there and then come back and, and manage to stop me. So full respect to him, but um, <clears throat> you know I do believe I know it's quite funny to say because he's he's got two wins over me, but I do believe um, I'm the better rounded fighter, and I do believe that um, next time round I can get the beam with Dave Bryan. Okay, um, the Ricky Boylan fight. You know, it, 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 it can't, it is there to be made. Um, I think a lot of people would like to see it. Um, he did message me. I'll give him, give him um, full credit. He did message me. He, as soon as I, the fight sort of got mentioned, he did ask his team. He did ask his trainer, his management to get it sorted um, through, you know, reasons. It didn't get sorted. And now it's fine. Danny Connor, which is... Um, equally, well, a lot of people have been and I'd fight for him. Yeah, so, so yeah, it'll be a good fight. You know, I've been I've been sparring Danny Connor, um, and you know, Danny Connor's um, he's he's switched on, very switched on. I went and sparred him the other day, okay. and it's like the Danny Connor I used to spar when he was a Southern Area champion. You know, he yeah. does. He seems he's really a, a real motivated for this for fight, and he seems really switched on for it. You know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, um, so you you were talking about when we spoke last time, and you you touched on it there. Some of the the problems that you have with nutrition and 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 the mistakes. That's why you sort of ran out of gas almost in the in the last fight with Dave. We're five weeks away from the fight now. How 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 are you feeling now? Have you got everything? Solid? I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling good. My weight's good. Um, we're down to about ten stone eight already. So. Okay. Which is which is good. Now I've, I've never really sort of been around this. This is something you know <clears throat> I really had to focus on um, because I know that, uh, me personally, I know that that was a major factor in the last fight. So I've really sort of concentrated on on the nutrition. Um, we've worked really hard to to get to where we are now, and um, and everything's going smoothly. You know, I've got. I mean, I've, I've got some sparring with Bradley Skeet today, which is <coughs> oh, nice. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant sparring for right. me. Bradley Skeet's got, um, he's got the 10 year reach and in range and he's got a lovely jab on him. Yes. So, um, yes. that sort of, <coughs> that'd be great sparring for me today, you know? Oh, brilliant. Oh, it's great to hear. Well, so, you know, well, 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 I don't want to give you to give too, too much away, but, you know, game plan, it, do you think you can take Dave Ryan out, or, or are we going for a are we going for a, a points win here? You know, because uh, you know, as long as as long as I get the win at long last <laughs> against yeah. him, you know what I mean. Um, as long as I get a win against him, I ain't fussed how it comes. You know, he knows <clears throat> he knows I can hurt him. I know I can hurt him, but you know, he, I'm not going to look for that. I, I can I can box. I can outbox him as well. You know. Um, 
He said, he has got a good jab, and you take that away from him. Um, then you take that jab away, and it sort of takes a lot away from Dave Ryan, takes him yeah. out of his comfort zone, and, you know, it limits him, you know. So we're working on we're working on things, and, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy the way things are going. I'm having a great camp so far, and uh, I can't wait for the tour for September. Brilliant, man. Well, um, what, what, what are you expecting from Dave in this fight? He's always said he, you know, he, every time anyone speaks to him, he says he's he's someone who comes alive towards the end of a fight. What well, are you expecting that this time round? Dave Ryan is one double hard tough man. That's <laughs> what I was going to call him, but I thought now better not. Um, he is. I've got full respect for Dave Ryan. This is the third time we're gonna we're gonna be in a ring together. Um, so you know you got you got to have respect for him. Um, he's been here twice. He's a Commonwealth champion. He's a good com- He's a good champion. You know, I think he's is he rated number one in Britain now or number two? Uh, I will tell you right now. I think he. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That brings me on to another thing. Is this for the British title? This fight? No, oh. I don't believe it is. Um, there was talk of that, the, wasn't there? What I'm hearing, reason being, is. Um, Tyro Nurse and Jenkins obviously drew. Yeah. Um, and uh, what they what they turned around and said is, sort of, whoever wins, whoever wins, I mean they won. Say say um, <clears throat> whoever wins, I mean they won and wins the British Commonwealth title. Who do they defend it against? Because obviously it's going to draw against Jenkins and Nurse, wasn't it? So. I yeah. think them two are going to fight again for it. From what I, from what I'm hearing, okay. I'm not too sure, though. To be honest. Oh, okay, I'll have to get on to Chris. I'm not too that, sure. Actually. I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be able to <laughs> shortly. But I've not heard. It. I've not heard because I did hear it was going to be for the British, but I've not heard anything back from it. So, you right. know. So would just, this um, be like uh, this? Could I'm sure this could be made a British title eliminator, final eliminator. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get. Yeah. Your, yeah. Your, it your, probably it probably should be. Yeah. Mm. You know, I think, although Dave Ryan has just stopped me, last, I think we both, uh, that, especially Dave Ryan, he deserves a shot of that British title. You know, that's the title everyone wants to win. Um, so, yeah, I think it should be made up there for a final eliminator or something. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I don't care if it ain't for any titles. I just need to get that win against Dave Ryan. Yeah, just put that right. And that's that's, that's, all I'm, that's that's all I'm focusing on at the moment, you know. Yeah. The uh, titles and all that sort of come come sort of with it, you know. But it's just me needing to rectify what was wrong and, and me getting that win against Dave Ryan. Okay. Well, what, one other thing I wanted to ask you, like you talk about there rectifying wrongs. Do you, have you, because you've come quite a, quite a long way in quite a short period of time. You, you turned professional quite late yeah. compared to a lot of people. Um, have you sort of added to your team? Have you have you almost got more professional as each fight's come along in terms of the backroom goings on as well? You know, we, I've, I've, got, I've had the same, I've, apart from that one fight where um, I went with Alec Wilkie, who I've got full respect for um, as, a, as a trainer. I think he's an absolute legend of a trainer, but um, <clears throat> I've, I've basically had the same team all the way through, you know, me uh, trainer, Mark Bates, Hatch, I'd, I'd, I've known him since I was a young kid, you know, I genuinely believe he's, he's the best trainer there is, you know, we've got such a great bond and a great relationship, I've also got my strength and conditioner, Alex Bredin, <clears throat> and my, um, my sort of, the bloke works me out financially and, and, and everything else in the years, you know. Um, and and by the way, gets me up the early mornings from from me running. Yeah, gets okay. me up at like quarter past five. <laughs> quarter past five to go running. Because uh, yeah. I think I struggled. <laughs> I struggled to get up myself. Him and um, we get there's a couple of fellas I go running with Lee Mears and John Breddon. So yeah, that's basically my team. You know, um, everything's everything works brilliant with them. Um, I've not needed to add to it because you know everything's. Apart from the last fight, everything's gone so well, you know. Okay. But the, the last fight, I, I put it down to nutrition, and um, <clears throat> and, and we we'll put that right, and, and things, it's going to be a different fight this next fight. Okay, all right, mate. Well, it's um, it's another. You, you're kind of getting used to fighting at the O2 now. On um, uh, Anthony Joshua and Gar- Gary Cornish is on the 
uh, the top yeah. of the card. That's um, that's a quite an exciting fight for me. I think it's Joshua's first live opponent. Well, what, what do you make of that? It'd be great to get, get your thoughts, mate. I've um, uh, I've not seen too much of Gary Cornish, but I think I think Adam Joshua's the real deal. You know, I yeah. think he's um, mm. he's a very good professional. You know, uh, he's brilliant at what he does. He's a great fighter. A great, you know, he's. He's so calm and collective. I think I think he's brilliant around the, around the sport, you know. And I think he's good for any youngsters coming through. If you sort of watch watch him, you know, and watch the way he holds himself, the way he, he keeps himself around the sport. I think I think he's a really good. Uh, he's credit to the sport, you know. I really do rate him. I think he's going to go on and do brilliant things um, <clears throat> in 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 the years coming. No winning world titles and all that. How much of a threat do you think Dillian White, who's also on the same card, uh, do, do you think he yeah. can be to, to just Joshua? It's, it's getting interesting between them two, I it think, is, isn't it? it? But um, I, I honestly think, I can't see, I, I, I believe in any Joshua, you know, I think um, I think he'd take that Gary Cornish out and, and I believe he'd take that Dillian White out as well. I think, you know, they, they boxed last time as an amateur and I think it was only... Um, when it, um, What's his face? Josh, who's only sort of here, only had a few amateur fights, hadn't he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't make much very, on that, personally. He's yeah. very novice, yeah. So I think they're, they're building a lot of, lot of things, a lot of hype up for it. Um, but like I say, I'm, I, to be honest, I've not really seen a great deal of them white, so I can't really comment too much. It's just what I see of Andy Josh, you know, a fair bit of him, and uh, I think he's, he's brilliant, you know, I think he's going to do well in this sport. I think he's going to be a real winner. Okay, mate. Well, finally, I just wanted to end on, you know, this and this fight with Dave Ryan. Is this is this a bit of a crossroad fight fight for you? Because you know, if you have another, it is, mate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, um, yeah, in boxing ain't needs a game, and it is hard. You know, the older you get, and you know, especially when you have got a little family, you sort of out of, out, of, out of their life, sort of for eight to ten weeks and it, and it does take its toll so you know it is a crossroads um, but um, in this fight I, I know how big this fight is I wouldn't have took it if I didn't believe that I could win this fight you know because I know um, you know if it does happen I do lose and it's probably sort of the end of me you know but so <clears throat> I know how big this fight is and I have took the fight because I know that I'm I, I'm a better fighter than Dave and uh, and uh, and I can beat him, you know. Yeah. Okay. Are you are you? Uh, are there other fights that interest you? I, I know you. I know you've got you solely looking at Dave Ryan, but in a perfect world, things to tick off a wish list. Are there are there fight other fights out there you want in the UK or or even in Europe? What have I said, Floyd? Mate. <laughs> what have I said, Floyd? Mate, it's for millions, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, well, you know, um, you know, like you said, I'm just focused on Dave Ryan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fair enough. It would be quite, you know, it would be quite funny to get in there. Not funny. It would be quite good to get in there and beat up Benny Connor, <laughs> being my mate and that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, but no, nah, no, nah, you know, I'm, I'm completely focused on the day right and fight. I want to, I want to, I need to put this right. I need, for, for myself, more than anything else, you know, um, I need to get, I need to get this win. And um, I'm 100% confident I'm going to, and um, it's going to be a great fight. Brilliant, Especially mate. for the fight fans, you know, third one, they're going to love it. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. It was a, it was a great fight last time. Um well, all the best, mate. You sound in you sound in great spirits, as as usual. To be honest, you know, even even when you do come off defeat. So, so wish you all the best leading up to it, mate. Thanks ever so much. You try. And uh, yeah, we'll catch we'll catch up soon, buddy. Okay. Hundred percent. Cheers, mate. You take care. Cheers, man. Bye. Cheers.